Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do something that's really fun I can't wait. We're going to start our second oil painting together. You guys seem to have a lot of fun the first time around, so we're going to do it again. You guys chose a nighttime or a starry scene, so we're going to begin to start that today. Remember to vote after each video so that you can help me design this painting. You did such an amazing job last time, and I can't wait to see some of your ideas for this time. And as you probably remember from last time, you don't need a YouTube account or any other kind of account to vote, and everybody's votes counted. For now, let's get started. We'll start off today here with a two inch brush and a little bit of blue and black and some clear gel medium. Work these all together in the brush. <laughs> and obviously look here, I've been painting, so. I'm just using the, the palette. I didn't bother cleaning it, because what's the point? The paint's all, it's all good. There, this helps to save paint. And it's just happened to be when I was filming. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. I'm gonna drop this color in. This is just black for starters. Obviously, you don't want your nights near nighttime scenes just dead, black and white. This is a painting, so we're gonna kind of be a little extra loose when it comes to color. I know there's no color at night, but maybe in our nighttime painting will sort of break the rules a little bit. <laughs> there we go. This is gonna be so fun. And just in case you're new or you're not really familiar with what we're doing here, this is going to be a painting that we're doing together. You're gonna to vote, you go to my website, I'll have the links all over the place on the screen and the description, all that. Go to my website and vote. Your vote will be counted. And you don't need to give us any, any kind of information. You just go there and vote. It's a lot of fun. All right. And then you vote and you tell me which sketch and I'll give you some sketches we're gonna continue with. There we go. Now I've went ahead and changed to a one inch brush here and I'm gonna take a little bit of blue and black and a touch of red there and some white. Good. All right, now with this, before I went down too far, I wanna just, now I'm gonna guess that our horizon's gonna be somewhere in here. We can always change it. I don't really, I don't really care. It doesn't matter at this point because we can easily cover it. Now, this is gonna be an awful lot like an acrylic painting, actually in that next week, by next week, this will be pretty much totally dry, depending on what we're doing. So it'll be a lot like an acrylic painting. We'll have to blend our colors wet on dry. So I'll show you some different techniques you might need as we go along. Now, of course, if you're watching these videos long after the voting's closed and the painting's done, no worries. Just watch them through in order because what it'll do is it'll teach you how paintings are created and it's so fun. It'll give you some extra knowledge, plus you just get to see a fun oil painting. So there you go. A little bit of red and with our blue. I'm just trying to kill the, uh, the cold, dead night. I want to make it kind of pretty. Let's put some subtle color in there. I'm going to just finish up and then we'll move on with some stars here. Next, I'll load up our little filbert brush here with a very soft blue-gray color. Very, very soft. And as you notice, I just filled that in. And maybe right up here, I'm going to just work on oh, some subtle clouds. <laughs> Something really, really neat. All right, now, not sure if these are showing up. No worries. We can always highlight a little tiny bit. I don't want to highlight much though. Now these clouds, oh yeah, these are gonna be so cool. I don't want to overdo it though because I want a lot of stars in our sky today. And if you put too many clouds, well, you obviously can't have stars. I have no idea if those are showing up for you because I can't actually see the painting. There. Believe it or not, I can't really see at all because it's quite shiny. Black is a very reflective color. And you'll notice by next week when it's dry, it'll have lost its shine and it'll be flat, which is good. We'll be able to see what we're doing a little easier. So for now, I'm just gonna do my best here and I'll stand back in a second and take a look at it and make any adjustments that I think we might need. Now, after standing back, I see one adjustment I need to make here. I'm gonna go ahead and make this cloud a little bit more slim Right there, it's as easy as erasing it, just like that. This is your little eraser today. Cool, and then also one more thing, just to balance out the sky, because see, I, I noticed it was symmetrical. So when you're painting a, a nighttime, well, when you're painting anything really, stand back to about six feet and make sure you have a really good look at it before making any decisions that, that are important. So you wanna make sure you're standing back all the time. I'm gonna bring this cloud up, this will help to create just a little more realism to the sky, a little bit more variation. Very good, <laughs> I like it. Pretty soft and wispy, I don't wanna overblend. We can always add to these clouds once they're dry, if we feel like it, we'll get a better view. 
All right, let's go ahead and grab my little detail round. Obviously, this would be a, a good brush to do stars with. So here's a little bit of white and yellow. White and yellow, the speck of red maybe just for fun. There, just to kill that white. Don't worry, it'll look, it'll look white up here. Here's how you paint stars. I don't want to paint them all with you because it'll just take too long, but here's how you paint stars. Okay, I'm just dabbing and dotting like that. And as crazy as this seems, let me grab something else here. And just, I'm going to touch them and make them fuzzy, just like that. I can even put some more paint on the brush. There you go. <laughs> this is kind of weird, I know, but watch this. Come back with your other brush clean, crisp white. Just, so now I'm gonna roll it right through the crisp white. Oh, this is gonna be nice. There you go. Put a little star inside each dot. And that becomes like the fuzzy glow around the light. Much better than just a boring dot in the sky. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up this little starry night area with a couple of dots of pure bright yellow and white. I'm not making any new stars, just going over what we have. And I'm even putting my hand way up here because it helps. <laughs> Otherwise you kind of have to stand back and hold your breath and stab. <laughs> and we're not gonna do that. That's just not something I feel like doing today, so. There. Good enough. And I don't wanna do that at all, just like to a few here in the, in the top, make them nice and yellowy. Other than that, I think we're pretty much done. All right, now it's your turn to vote. So the first option we have here is a large, vast mountain that's almost kind of silhouetted here against the night sky. We'll have probably have some trees here at the bottom of that as well, and then we'll figure out the rest of the composition later. Or we could do a building or structure and maybe a small path or road coming up to it. That might be nice. Or third, we have a beautiful little pond, a very still pond or lake, one of the two, with our starry night reflected down in the water. So now it's your turn, go ahead and vote for which option you'd like to see me continue with. All right, well that's it for our little nighttime sky. I think it really turned out neat. I can already picture the landscapes in front of it. It's gonna be so much fun. And of course, if you've enjoyed this series and are looking forward to it, seeing it continue, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And also if you've missed any of the episodes of our first painting together, be sure to go back and watch them. It was a really fun process. Remember to vote after each video and we'll have a lot of fun on this one too. Thanks for watching. <laughs>